Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stare into my eyes. I know that I don't make things clear. I fall for you every time I try to resist. We can get away. Come chase beach fuels and then every day. All I wanna hear is an every since that we play. Sitting right next to you. morning guys happy monday hope you all had a lovely weekend today i am not doing much again surprise surprise start off the vlog <laughs> with me never doing anything um today i'm going in to get a blood test just to check my infusion levels and some of my inflammatory markers and everything like that just to make sure everything's going okay as i go off my steroids and all of that fun stuff so that's all i'm really doing today and then the rest is going to be another chill day my journal should be arriving today, so I'm probably going to start journaling and then just reading some of my new books that I got. So yeah. I did not speak much today, but today I basically ended up finishing editing my vlog, which I did most of last night, but I did, I just had to touch up a lot of things, and I like fixed the music, and then added a few little editing things in, and I also had to film an extra bit this morning, which was, which you would have seen, which is the Crohn's chat, because I wanted to look half decent and I kind of forgot about it last week but I did not realize how long it took for a video to upload onto YouTube so my video I was planning on having scheduled and ready by 6 p.m. Monday it is now 11 15 p.m. and it's got 40% done so definitely going to have that ready for next week so this is probably it's probably uploaded randomly during the night because I didn't select, like, select a certain time to upload it. But next week it'll definitely be done by 6pm Monday and uploaded and I'll schedule it. I'm just dumb and just underestimated how long it would take. But anyway, so I've done some journaling as well, which was so good just to write everything out because I kind of wrote... Kind of when everything started going downhill last year with my disease, like October, which is when everything just kind of went to shit. So I kind of just journaled from then, which was five pages, but it just felt so good to get everything out. Morning guys, happy Tuesday. Uh, today I am going in to get an infusion for my Crohn's. So I have two types of infusions that I get. I get one in the hospital and one in like a nurse comes out to my home and I just chill at home and get one here. So basically the one in the hospital, I was on ages ago by itself, but it didn't work. I think it worked for a little bit, but then it kind of just stopped. So with the other infusion I'm taking, they're hoping, taking them, they're hoping I can like mesh the two and that it works. So I put my fingers crossed. So this is my second dose starting back. So I went in two weeks ago, got one, and they'll do like two weeks and then four weeks and then six, I think, and then eight. I'm pretty sure, but we might end up sticking to four weekly depending on how rapid they want the medicine to go into my stomach and work, hopefully. So yeah, so I got that today. And then while I'm there, I'm just gonna be doing some writing in my diary because all my stuff, coursework, just came through for my social media marketing course that I'm doing. So I'm very excited about that. But it's definitely getting a little bit real now because now I just have to study. 
but I'm so excited to actually get back down and like learn. But yeah, it should be really exciting. So that's what I'm doing today. And then when I get back, my friends are all coming over for a games night and we're just having a barbecue. I'm cooking, even though I can't eat, but I just, I find cooking just so much fun and it's just really relaxing for me and something to do while I'm at home, I guess. So basically majority of the things I do are at home just because COVID is so bad and being high risk and all, it does get a little bit scary going out and doing anything crazy. So yeah. This is the hospital fit, pretty much. I don't really try, it gets usually pretty cold. So I'm wearing long pants from Princess Polly and then my top is from Lonely Ghost. It's one of my favorite tops to just casually wear around, but it's also so cute and I love it. But yeah, and then I'll probably wear my Bellini shoes that are over there. Just got back from the infusion. It went really, really well. It was really quick and I was just doing some work on my course just getting everything set up and trying to understand how the program works and everything because we got, got to use different websites and then got to read through all the handbooks and everything so I did that and figured most of it out still have to figure a few things out and then we just stopped in at office works and I got a display book um some binders and then a notebook also posted my youtube video today and like put it all out on instagram and i did not expect 40 something subscribers already which is crazy and i know it's all like mostly my friends and everything but like it means a lot all the support and everything especially going through crohn's and me saying in the last video how support is such a big part of getting through crohn's and getting through any illness really so it means a lot so thank you for that and um I'm excited to see how this goes and hopefully I can maintain a weekly vlog thing because, well, so far it's been really, really fun. I mean, it's only been a week, but yeah. sometime past 11 and I'm still in bed I had a really rough night last night I I think everyone left like 11 30 around then and then I came up and my feed had a little bit of time to go but not ages and I knew that if I like tried to go to sleep by the time I went to sleep it would just w wake me up because when I need to change over my like feed packet it beeps like insanely loudly and wakes me up and I have to change it so I ended up staying up till 2am and then I had to wake up at 7 to change it again and I'm so exhausted and honestly this has like kind of been the routine for the whole entire time I've had this feed because it just wakes you up constantly and you like you get used to the sound of it going quite easily it just becomes like white noise kind of thing but just the sound when it changes over or there's air where you need to put your battery in to charge it it beeps so loud and sleep is just not something I'm getting a lot of at the moment so right next to you.
everybody it is currently like 7 20 a.m which is crazy early for me to be up um this morning i have an appointment at the hospital it's meant to be a post-admissions follow-up but it says it's with the colorectal team which i'm pretty certain is the surgical team so i'm currently freaking out and i had a little bit of a breakdown last night about it just because Every time I was in hospital and they came in, everything they kind of said to me was very overwhelming and a lot of information at once. Um, obviously, the reason I have a tube in is because we want my stomach to get better. But if it doesn't, then surgery is the next option. But there's two th ways it could go. If I can't stay off steroids for six weeks, then I have to get a stoma, which is a bag. And that is the scariest thing for me that is like the worst option and i'm praying i don't have to get one but the other option is just keyhole surgery to cut out the inflammation kind of in my bowel but either way i am really nervous about this appointment and it couldn't have been completely fine like nothing but it's just that slight chance that something like that could happen and I'm just not prepared for it and I know that I'm gonna get very very emotional and scared hey guys so it's obviously the afternoon and I currently look and feel like shit um the appointment kind of went in a direction I was really praying it wouldn't. Um, so it looks like I'm getting surgery, which is really scary. And I've cried a lot today about it just because it's not the surgery that scares me. It's the fact that if things go wrong or are a lot worse than expected within the operation that I'm going to have to get a stoma, and um, that's like the worst outcome for me. That's just nothing, it's just something I really, really don't want. And it honestly scares the crap out of me. And it was just so overwhelming today to find it all out that I just bored my eyes out. And it constantly feels like I've tried like every single medication and nothing's worked. And it's really hard to be hopeful that I won't get a stoma when everything else has failed. And it's so hard to be positive. And I'm such I'm such a positive person. Like I hate being negative. Like I hate I hate it. But it's so hard to think I'll be fine when I've literally had six years of people telling me that. And I haven't <laughs> nothing's worked, you know? But I gotta think. I'm trying so hard to think positively about it and I know that I've taken the tube really seriously and I've done everything I can with that and my weight's improving and my nutri like nutrition is like good so the likelihood of me needing a stoma is much less but it's just so scary the thought of just waking up from surgery and just having one and there's just so many different things I have to like I'd have to adjust to it's a lot. I asked my boyfriend Judah to come over tonight just because I need some company and some cheering up because, yeah, it's been rough. I just slept and <laughs> kind of just in shock. But if the surgery goes well, then I can kind of eat whatever I want, I think. I'm praying because if I still have to go on a restricted diet after surgery, <sighs> it's just what the hell it's never ending the crisis is never ending and it fucking sucks like <sighs> but this is my life I can't change it and I just have to keep pushing through but yeah that's my update for today I'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs>
guys, happy Thursday. Today was a much better day than yesterday. I had my boyfriend due to stay over last night, which made everything a lot better because I kind of was just distracted with him. And then today we went ice skating, which was really, really fun. I suck at it, but it was really fun. Didn't stack it though, but definitely almost did it quite a few times. But by the end, I think I was all right. Um, and then we went swimming for a little bit and then I just had my infusion at home, which has been so good having them at home. Just so much easier for me instead of driving like 30 minutes to the hospital. But my nurse is so lovely as well. And I was talking to her about my YouTube channel and everything. And she was so supportive, which is lovely. But yeah, I'm just gonna have a relaxing night tonight. Just have a bath, watch some YouTube. Might do some journaling or some colouring, maybe some sketching, I don't really know. But yeah, just something relaxing because I just want to keep my mind at ease with the whole surgery thing. It's kind of like still a lot to process and still quite scary, but I'm hoping with my next appointment on Wednesday, I'll I can get some like clarification. It is also, it's not Thursday, it's Friday, I just realised. It is Friday today, whoopsies. But I, it is my seven week mark of having my tube in. So I've gone seven weeks without any food and I'm very proud of myself for doing it. I'm really hoping at my next appointment they'll say I'm allowed food because I want food so bad. But I don't know, because of the surgery, if they might decide not to, but we will see. I forgot to mention yesterday as well, my, one of my best friends today came over and we just went around driving. We went to office works to finally get something that I can actually put my dividers and stuff in. And it looks so cute. It's a little binder. And then I just have like free paper in it and it's so good. And mom's home. Hello. So there's gonna be a lot of talking today and yesterday. Well not actually I didn't really talk that much today, but like after each other, clips after each other. I am not doing great at the moment mentally with Crohn's. It is just getting so tough and anytime I'm alone and not with people my brain and I just have to get so overwhelmed and I just wish I was normal I wish I could eat I wish I could you know go out on dates with my boyfriend and eat food with him I wish I could just not have to worry about anything and it just gets so overwhelming and just can get me really upset and it's perfectly normal which sucks to say, but it's such a normal thing, and I just, I want to make these weekly vlogs and my YouTube channel raw, I want people to see, like, you know, what I go through and stuff, so I'm trying to be as open as possible, but yeah, it's not fun, I don't wish Crohn's upon anyone, but I try and just keep a positive mindset and keep myself occupied, but sometimes at night, especially when I just have nothing else to do, my brain just fizzles out and I just break down. But I'm going to try and do shit for myself tomorrow. I'm going to try my best. I'm going to try go to bed before 12. I don't know if I will. Maybe try go on a walk tomorrow. But we'll see how I go. Just depends how I go tonight, I guess. But yeah, just so I'll let you all know how I'm feeling. So I ended up coming to the gym because I needed to get something done, some exercise to just calm me down, which kind of worked, but um, it was good, I just did some glutes, and again, like, I filmed it, and I'm not anywhere near, like, I know my form is shit, and I'm just starting back up, so I'm really not to do light weights. So, it's not great, but because I've been so sick, like, getting back into it and doing it light still, you know, makes me feel something, like, I can still feel the exercise, which is good, but yeah, I'm just using light weights, and yeah, trying to 
just get some form of exercise in no matter what it is or how long I do it for and I just stretched and it was really nice and now I think I'm gonna go up and have a shower and kind of freshen up a bit so I had a tiny order come in from Addicted the fashion store online that I ordered like a month ago and it finally arrived so I thought I would do just a quick little try on and show you guys the three items that I got and what I would style it with so the first I think I got is this corset and I'm obsessed with it I think it is so cute it fits really well I got a small um with corsets I always go a small instead of an extra small just because I've got a really wide bust but yeah I love this the only problem is a lot of the sticks with the, like the um lining are coming out and so I need to re-sew them like here I don't know if people can see that it's very annoying but I just styled this with a princess poly mini skirt and my docks and I think it's such a cute outfit for like going out with friends at night at the moment we can't really do that but that's probably what I would wear with it if I could next thing I got is this shirt this long sleeve or crop and it's the nicest material it feels kind of like swimmers like rashy material kind of it's very light and cold which is, I like and the back is like backless it's just in the try on it is very very cute I got an extra small on this and I styled this with my black jeans from Glassons and my Nike Air Forces and I think it's such a cute little outfit I definitely could style it with a mini skirt as well and the last thing I got are these jeans which I think are freaking amazing I love them so much they're definitely too long for me because I am tiny but I got a small on these as well and I style these with my boohoo knee high pretty sure they're knee high boots chunky boots and from this little top from beginning boutique and I'll definitely wear that out clubbing in winter but at the moment I can't really club but that's right. But yeah, those are the three things I got. I love them. I just wish the quality in the corset was a little bit better because it's such a pretty top, but I'm going to have to read like sew it and everything. But I think Addicted, Addicted? Addicted is such a cute website and they've got some really edgy stuff, which I don't usually go for, but I think I was trying to like, try to broaden my style and I feel like my style's changed so much growing up. And especially now, because I just have nothing to do, so I'm constantly online shopping and seeing what trends are around. But yes, that's what I got.